Hello dear friends, here we're gonna talk about rebar placement. Here if I choose rebar from the reinforcement panel, then we can specify the placement method and placement plane. In placement plane, we define where the rebar is placed in the host. And in placement orientation, we define how the rebar is aligned when placed in the host. Being mastered in these three options helps you to position your rebars in your structural elements. I cancel the command here as you can see in the 3d view i have provided a visual example which is a column like the three options of placement planes are displayed near cover current cover and far cover here if i choose rebar as you can see i'm in the level one view that in the placement plane panel we got three options current work plane near cover reference and far cover reference which are visually provided in the 3D view in the column. Current work plane places planar rebar on the active work plane in the view of the host, or the position where the current work plane is placed. That here, if I modify the type of the bar, for example, 16 by this way then here if i place the rebar you can check the position in the 3d view let me try again i choose rebar expand to host current work plane it will place exactly in the specified plane which is currently work plane but here if i change the plane to near cover reference it will be placed at the top of the column let me show you so i pick rebar and then I choose near cover reference as placement plane. Then we can see the stirrup at the top of the column. Again, I select the host to show you the exact place of the rebar. Check this out at the top of the column or near to the cover reference or on the nearest cover reference parallel to the view of the host. But if we want to add the stirrup at the bottom of the column, I should choose far cover reference or the farthest cover place away from the view in the view direction. Check the far cover reference that here if I check the column, check this out, it is placed at the bottom of the column. Thenceforth, when you are going to place rebars in your hosts, I mean your concrete elements, you should regard your chosen view and actually the shape or the geometry of the host before choosing the placement plane. For now, I choose current work plane. Then I'm gonna talk about placement orientation, which defines the alignment of the rebars after they have being placed. Note that here if I choose parallel to work plane, then it will be aligned with the current work plane here as you can see i have chosen stirrup and the work plane is in the level view as you can see so the stirrup is parallel with the current work plane here and you can use space bar for the rotation of your bar then for fixing the orientation you can use shift to lock rebar orientation to face and all of these items are elaborated in the revit structure course but i aim to provide a short video tutorial for those who are asking about this items and teach you these tools the next option is parallel to cover that if i choose it then you can adjust the orientation in relation to the faces that you can change the faces if, here if i hold down shift then the orientation of this rebar will be locked to this face and if i move the mouse it is constrained to this face but if i release shift i can toggle the orientation of the rebar and the yellow color shows the host face and the next option is perpendicular to cover that actually at this view i mean level one there is no difference between parallel to cover and perpendicular to cover I mean here as you can see the placement method is expand to host but if I choose by two points then we will have some changes in the placement orientation and the placement plane for example parallel to work plane then if I want to modify the rebar shape for example the straight rebar then we will have different options in placement orientation for example parallel to cover then I can place the rebar by specifying two points inside the host and it is parallel to the work plane but if I choose perpendicular to segment then we will have the rebar set that we can adjust the layout quantity and spacing you now based on your purpose then by this way I can place my rebar set but if I choose horizontal clearly they will be placed horizontally and if i choose vertical the rebar set will be placed vertically check this out the rebars in the 3d view so while placing your rebars in your concrete host the two items firstly view you have chosen and also the shape and the geometry of your rebar should be taken into consideration and after that according to your purpose you can choose your placement methods then place on planes and placement orientation that here for example i choose 
chooses to wrap and then from type selector I modify the type of the rebar for example 10 then I modify the layout of the rebar set for example based on maximum spacing by this way 150 millimeters then I distribute my rebar set check this out in the 3d view or for example again rebar this time by two points method and then I choose a straight rebar as the shape by this way after that I want to modify the type of the rebar from type selector then in layout fixed number four then by specifying two points you can distribute your rebar set here i activate the snaps by this way then i sketch them and then the number three then by this way i specify the position of the points like this Thenceforth, you based on your purpose in your projects you can use the placement plane and placement orientation for placing rebars in concrete elements.